So now in this video, let's continue further. So now what I will do, I will create a kind of a protected route to just test how this token thing works, right? So yeah, so let's see. Okay, so I'll be creating a route in here. Route, or I, I can minimize the sign in route for now, right? A router dot maybe uh, we can create a get, right? Get route. And let's say user will request on maybe p r o t e c protected. User will make a request on this protected. If user will make a make a request on this protector here, we will here we can write a call back, and inside this we can response user. Maybe for now we can just send hello user, right? So let's assume that this is a protected resource, right? And user should be able to get this resource, this hello user, only when user is logged in, right? So user should have a token, right? Okay, so user should come along with this token, then only user will be able to access this resource. Okay, but we should first verify the user, right? It is that if the token is same, right, which we gave to user. Okay, how to verify that? For that, we will be creating middleware, right? Okay, so in here, I'll be creating a separate folder. I'll get a name of M I or not in the routes, uh, not in the routes. Let me close this all folders in here. M I double D L E M I double D L E L E W A R E middleware inside this middleware I can create a file that will be require login dot dot js like so now in here I can write module M O D U L E module dot exports and it will export a function right like so this will be our middleware function it will take a request comma response comma next okay and uh, not like so next like this okay so first of all we will restructure something from request dot headers so we will be adding an authorization header you will get things clear right we will test this right you will get things clear but have patient right for first let me write the code and then i'll explain to you here we will restructure a u t h o r i z a t i o n right authorization from header a u t h o r i z a spelling i am making sure that spelling is correct from request dot h e t r s headers okay everything is correct now if this authorization is not present in our header a u authorization is not present so here i can add a not like so if authorization is not present then we can response with the status code stat status code of 401 that means unauthorized right and we can send a json uh yeah then we can send uh we can send json instead json right and with the error and here we can write you must be allowed double gd logged in like so this will be an error okay now if the uh, authorization header is present right then we will retrieve the token from that so in here uh, uh, from this authorization we have this replace so basically authorization will be a string r e p l a c from this replace and i will replace the string will have something called as b e a r e R now B E R E R and a, and a space. I will replace this with just an empty string. So let me here write how authorization will look like. So authorization will look like A U T H O R I Z A T I U N. Authorization will look something like this. So it will look something like this B E A B A R E R space and a token. Right. This is a token which we will be which we will be giving user. Right. This is a this is this will be a this token right okay so we will be uh, getting this uh, string right in this format right so we will be sending this authorization in this format right it will contain this bearer and the space and the token like so so first we need to access this just this token so that is why i am replacing this bearer and a space with just empty space in order to access this token right yeah and I can store that in const token 
Now things will get more clear when we will test that using Postman, right? We will be sending this token, right? We will be sending, setting this in our authorization header, then things will get more clear. For now, you just write what I am writing. Now we need to verify that, that it is the same token that we gave to the user. For that, we can use this JWT and we need to require that const JWT equal to RE, Q -U -I -R -E, require uh, JSON, JS, JSON web tokens, okay. Now JWT dot verify. Now we want to verify this token, right? And we need to pass a key as well, right? A secret key, right? In order to verify, so I'll restructure that uh, from require and dot dot slash keys. Okay, that was the name of that was JWT secret, and I need to pass that as well. JWT secret now in here we will be getting a call back with the error and payload p a y l o a d payload right and now if there is some error then we can response uh, response and we can put a status s t a t u s status with 401 that is unauthorized and again we can send a json response yes and json right and here we can say that error you must be hello double g -E logged in right here we should always put a return keyword if we encounter this error we don't want to execute further retur and return and here as well retur and return okay now if we didn't get an error, any error, so here we can destructure something from payload payload. And what we can destructure, we can destructure underscore id. Now you remember when we were when we were giving a to when when we were generating a token, right? Uh, here we we just assigned this user id in this underscore id. Now I am destructuring this underscore id from my payload from my payload, right? Okay, now I will be making use of the user model. So here I, I, I will require mongoose, M-O-N-G, double-I-G, mongoose equal to uh, R -E -Q -U -I -E -R -E require mongoose, right? Like so. And I need to access the user model, right? Mongoose dot model and the name of model is user, right? So now I'll use that user, right, and user find by ID, and inside this I will pass an ID, right. So I'm finding a user with that ID. Now, if that is successful, then we will get the particular record, right, user data, right, in this then. So maybe here I can write user data right and now i can make available this user data in request dot user right request dot user and this will be equal to user data like so so if we want to access the let's say the user details right so we can access that in this request dot user the what kind of user detail let's say the name of the user let's say the email of the user right okay yeah so we can access that in by in this request dot user by making use of this request dot user. Uh, if you want to access the password also, right? We can make use of this request dot user because now this user data is available in this request dot user, right? Okay. And here, finally, if everything is done in here, uh, yeah. After that, uh, generating this here, we can call next, right? To continue our code further right to uh, to stop this middleware and to continue code further or to continue to the next middleware we need to call this next in here there is a little mistake here i need to write underscore id right because here we are destructuring underscore id okay so now what we can do i will save this file and in here in auth routes here let's say this is a protected source so i'll require const uh, re 
uh, QUI require log hello GI log require uh, login hello login and require 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 from uh, dot dot slash middleware slash require login and I can pass in between in here right in between in here require login require login like so if user want to access this so first user need to log in so this middleware will, will come in action and this middleware will verify the token okay so now let's see let's access let's try to access this protected resource like right? right okay let's copy this protected route and let's make a request so I'll, I'll be creating a new tab in here let's make a get request to localhost uh, localhost protected right and let's uh, let's say if our server is running okay server is running let's make a get request to this now here you can see we are getting an error you must be logged in so we need to send the token right we need to send the token in order to access this now why how we are getting this error we are getting this error from our middleware so middleware is getting kicked in and yeah so we don't have authorization header present that is why we are getting this error okay so now let's make use of that token right so we have this token in here yeah this token in here so let's make use of that so i'll copy this token control c and in here inside this header right first i need to type content oh not content here i can write authorization authorization and it will have b e a r e r b r b e b r space and the token right okay like so now you can see in here we write a logic right to get the token right so uh, in authorization contains something like this so from that we are replacing this bearer with this empty codes so we are getting that in the token right and then we are verifying it so here you can see our authorization is looking exactly how we have done in here right how we have done in here so we need to write bearer space and the token number right like so so now our authorization header is present right and now let's try to access again let's make a get request in here let's wait for the response and here you can see hello user amazing awesome now let's try to change this token right let's try to change a little bit this token let's say instead of this g i'll write i'll remove that g right now this token is invalid right now let's see if what happens if i send a request now here you can see again see that uh, again we are getting this you are you must be logged in and why we are getting this because now this token verification gets failed and that is why we are getting this error and we are sending a response you must be logged in so we are successfully verifying our token as well right like so the token needs to be exactly same which user is receiving right which user is receiving right okay so this is how we make use of the token site right, in order to access the protected resource okay yeah so we need to attach that token in our headers in our headers with this authorization key and the key and the value of that will be bearer space the token right yeah so i think this is it for the video right so i know this things are a little complicated but things will get clear right no one understands on the first go have a patience right and i will see you guys in the next video